beautiful. Our first job is going to be working with the general components because for the application, we're going to have three components. We're going to have to do input and to do list, and both of them are going to be sitting within the app. And in this case, I'm going to close the public. We don't need the public. The most of the work, as always, we're going to do in a source. I will going to close the terminal. We don't need it right now, as well as we're going to head over to the app JS. And you know what? For this, I will going to zoom in a little bit and I could make maybe this one even smaller because that way we can see a little bit more what is happening. And then within the app and you know what? No, this will going to be a little bit too big. My apologies. And let's say that for the app, we're not going to care about the app CSS anyway. And we will going to get rid of a bunch of things here. I'm going to say class name app. Well, that could technically stay there. We don't care about it too much. We're going to change it in a second anyway. So I'm going to say heading one. Hello from app, something like this. So that's going to be our heading one. That would be our app at the moment. We can get rid of the logo as well. We're not going to need the logo. And then let me zoom in right now. And now let's see what we're going to delete. So we can get the app CSS out of the way and say, yeah, we don't need it. As well as we can look at the logo SVG. We don't need that. Then let me move that one to the trash. Of course, at the moment, this is going to complain that, you know, we're technically not using it. That's fine. We're going to fix that in a second. Then let's create a new folder. Then the component name is going to be the folder name. Components. Components. And within this folder, we're going to create two new components. And let's say the first one is going to be to do list or to do item. Uh, let's write to do and we're going to say list, you know, let's start with the list. Then for this guy, we're just going to create a class based component. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. In this case, you could create a function based component or you know what? That's going to be for the other ones. Yeah, my apologies. But uh, in general, I will going to be creating all of them as class based components. Let me zoom out. You'll see I'm obviously using the RCC and let's say hello. From to do list, let's say this one. Then also let's create another one, which is going to be to do input, where we're going to be putting the inputs. And in this case, again, there's going to be new file to do input is going to be the name of the file for this. Again, I'm going to create a class based component. I'm going to say hello from to do item. And you know what? Just to make our life a little bit easier. I'm also going to create a item for each and every item that we're going to be creating. So let's say I'm going to create a new item and I'm going to add this item as a separate component. Technically, we could have written everything in a to do list, but I think it's going to be a little bit easier if we're going to have the actual item. So I'm going to write to do item JS. And for this, again, we're going to have the class based component. Or in this case, you could have created the function based component. But let's just stick with all of them being class based components. And we're going to write hello from to do. And the name is going to be item. I'm going to save all three of them. Then I'm also going to save app JS. Now everything is rendering fine. We have no complaints. So far, so good. Everything is working out. At the moment, I would like to get the bootstrap just to show you how the bootstrap would be working, as well as we might as well get the UUID. So first, let's start with import UUID from UUID. That would be the package name. Awesome. So we have this one and we're not going to testing it right now. We're obviously going to start working with it the moment we're going to do all our setup. Then within the bootstrap, what we're looking for is import. And now we're looking for the specific file. And as you're working with bootstrap, like I said, there's multiple ways how we can add it to our projects. You could have done it this way where we have get started and you would get this CDN to your HTML. And by the way, normally, as you're working with bootstrap, bootstrap is also going to require the dependency for jQuery. But obviously, since we are working with react, which is already going to be responsible for our functionality, we don't care about it. So the only thing we're looking for is the CSS. Like I said, you could do the CDN. You could do it this way where you're heading over, let's say, to your index. And then within the index, you just add the CDN link, the one that they're giving you. And by the way, OK, let me show you so it works. Otherwise, you're going to think that I'm 
telling you some kind of misinformation. So let's say right there after the title, I'm going to say bootstrap bootstrap CSS. That's going to be my text. I'm going to copy and paste it. And now in order to test it out, we're going to head over back to app JS. And first of all, we don't need the import in this case, since we're going to first test it out the CDN. And I'm going to say that, okay, so there will going to be a div. I will not going to care about that div. However, let's set up our three columns. And I'm going to say container. Then within the container, there's going to be a row. And you don't need to write this. I'm just showing you that the bootstrap is going to be working if we're doing the CDN as well. So let's say starting here, this is going to be column four. That means that the div is going to be spanning full columns. And let's add maybe some background color. And as you can see, it's very easy. You just can add BG danger class. So now this is going to be red. And let's just say hello here. I will going to copy and paste it. Copy and paste it two times. And let's just change the colors. Let's do warning maybe. Again, this is going to be the yellow color for our columns. And this is going to be primary for the blue one. And as you can see, everything is working because they have a three column layout with a bootstrap. And I have all the colors and everything. And like I said, you don't have to do this right now. I'm just showing you that this is working as we're going to be working throughout our project. Obviously, I'm going to be explaining what classes we're adding. But please be aware that I'm not going to do that in a great detail because this is not a bootstrap course. So far, so good. Everything is working if we have the CDN. However, let me show you what happens if we comment this out. Now, the moment we're going to save it, obviously nothing is going to be working because we don't have the bootstrap. And the second way would be downloading the bootstrap. And the way this is going to work, they pretty much, let's see, the download, right? But we use the NPM, but this would be the compiled in CSS. And let's say that if we follow the link, we see that we would be looking either for bootstrap CSS or bootstrap min CSS. Or in my case, or in our case, since we use the node packages, we would have to head over to node modules. Obviously, I'm just showing you where the file right now is located. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to just import it. But at the moment, just to show you where are we getting the file? Because we are looking for the same file. We have the bootstrap within the bootstrap. There's a distribution, then CSS, and then we're looking for this bootstrap min CSS. And that's the reason why obviously we're using the node packages, because this is just going to be simpler than again, downloading these files and then dragging and dropping. We can just use the NPM. We already installed it. I don't care about index HTML and I can head over here and right after the UUID import. I can also import bootstrap. And in this case, I will just going to be looking for the CSS file. And since this is the dependency that we have externally installed, we don't need to show the path because we were going to be pointing right away to the node modules anyway. And for this, we're going to say bootstrap. So that's the name of the dependency. Then we have the distribution folder, then the CSS folder. And then we have that file name, that bootstrap min CSS or CSS. So I'm going to say bootstrap. Bootstrap mean CSS. Let's save it. As you can see, everything is working again because now we have the bootstrap again. Those would be the two ways how we can use the bootstrap. And now let's actually set up all our components because at the moment we have the app JS and for this, I will going to minimize a little bit as well as I'm going to close the sidebar because we don't need it anymore. We know we're going to have the components. And at the moment you see on the top, we have a few of them. So we have to do a list to do input and to do item. And the way then this setup is going to work is first of all, I'm going to be looking for the to do list. So I'm going to say, or, you know, what, to do items to do input, sorry, to do input is going to be my first one from, and now I'm going to be looking for the components folder within the components folder. I obviously do have the to do input as well as let's copy and paste it. And let's just change a few things around here where I'm going to be looking for to do list as my second component that's going to be rendered within the app. And in this case, let's just uh, have the row later on. We're going to fix it. Don't worry about it. For now, I just want to show them that they're actually there. So I'm going to say to do list and then we're going to copy and paste it. And we're also going to change it to to do input as well as this is going to be the closing tag to do input. And you know what? For some reason, 
I don't understand why, but I'm trying to place this one on top of each other. Basically, I would want my to do input obviously here on the top, but for some reason, I keep putting the to do list first. Don't ask me why. Uh, so the layout proper layout would be to do input, then we have to do list, and you know what? For to do item as well as to do list, why don't we have proper heading ones? Because this is just gonna be a little bit more understandable where we have the to do list and to do items or to do input. Sorry, as you can see, a bunch of them are exactly the same to do list to do item. So my tongue doesn't like that very much. Okay, so I have hello from to do list. That would be my first one, as well as that's probably not what I wanted. But okay, so I have to do list. So far, so good. Let's save this now, not here. But I would also want to save the app JS. So now I have hello from to do item, and then I have to do list. And the reason for that is obviously because I messed up a little bit within the input because I'm going to be looking for to do input. That's going to be the proper name. So now everything is being displayed correctly. And now let's head over to do item. And I would want to import it in the to do list. Import to do item, or we can just call this item since that is the default export anyway. From and now I'm going to be looking for the same folder, obviously, because the file is going to be in the same folder. And then right after the heading one, or you know what, I can just probably add it as a uh, div. So let's have some kind of div, let's say section or something like this. At the moment, again, we're going to change this. And we can say heading to to do list, and then we're going to be rendering a bunch of items anyway. So why don't we have the I don't know, or you know what? Yeah, just have the item. I think that should do it. We're all going to have the item at the moment. We have successfully to do input. That would be where we're going to be placing our inputs. Then we have the list and then we're going to be rendering the item. That would be our basic setup where we do have all our dependencies and we have all our components set up. 